What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Yuzu game update files or DLC. If you would like a full setup guide to Yuzu, I have my guide in the description below. Okay, to get started, I have a folder on my desktop that contains a game and an update file. That being Sonic Frontiers. Now this first file is my game file, so if I right click on it, go to properties, you can see that the size is 10.3 gigabytes. And the update file, right click on that, go to properties, and you can see that the size is 709 megabytes. So let's go ahead and open Yuzu. And the first thing we need to do is add the game to the emulator. So let's go ahead and click on add new game directory. And I'm gonna locate that folder on my desktop that I named Switch Games. Select it and then hit select folder. And as you see, Sonic Frontiers has been added to Yuzu. Now let's make Yuzu full screen. Now if you look over here under add-ons, you're not going to see anything. But if you have added a game update file, this is where it will show up. So right now, as you see, Sonic Frontiers has no add-on. So let's add our update file. What you want to do is go up to File, Install Files to NAND. I'm going to locate that Switch Games folder on my desktop again that has the update file. And then you want to select that update file. Please confirm the file you want to install. There's my Sonic Frontiers update file. Go ahead and click install. One file installed, okay. Now if you take a look under add-ons, you will see that update file. There's my update 1.2.0. Now to verify this update, come over to the game, right click on it and go to properties. And as you see right here, update, check, version 1.2.0. And if you look over here, it should match version 1.2.0. Now, if you would like to disable this update, you wanna uncheck the box next to update and click okay. And now if you take a look under add-ons, you'll see the update file has a D in front of it. This means disabled. To re-able the update, repeat what we just did, right click, properties, and if you look to the left, it says version 1.0.0. We want to add that update so we get back to 1.2.0. So let's go back up here and check update. Okay. Now, if you have any DLC files, they will install the same way as the update files. Now we can load up a game with the updates. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.